All right, cat, take me to what you saw. So it's down in here, I think. Where'd it go? Over here? That's dust. Ah, here we go. Oh! Thanks for the help. <laughs> and dead bodies. Now, is anyone going to notice that? Are these... You are the worst police officers. No wonder I'm the only one trying to solve this damn thing. Well, obviously it's the key. A mysterious key. I know that house. Where have I seen this house before? Um... No new leads. Oh, Judgment House. One of Salem's historic sites, a mansion owned by a judge where accused witches were tried. Oh my god, it's Abigail. It's one million percent Abigail. That's it. The killer's hideout. I need to get to Judgment House. Do you think she's controlling Baxter? No, that's not right. <gasps> my Rex theory is so dead on. She was controlling Rex. He never wanted to actually, like, kill me, kill me. She made it happen. All right, yes, I'm, I'm aware. Let's go. No! Fuck. You kidding me right now? Wait, just one? Uh, I don't even know that. I don't even know thing. All right, you smart ass. I see how it is. They're gonna make this difficult. Get out of town. Can I get down there? Like, yeah. We'll go here, and then when he's turned around like he is, he's not gonna see me up here, is he? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get yourself arred. Arr, arr. And yes. Great. Get wrecked. Okay. Any more down here? We good? All right, let's go. Uh, I don't think I need to get through him, do I? I think so, probably. You're gonna walk over there, man? Come on, poltergeist again. Ah, damn walkie talkie over here, always blooping and bleeping. What's going on? It's like it's possessed or something. Damn right it is. So the question is, why is Abigail doing this? I didn't think Abigail was... Wasn't she the one who accused people of being witches? I didn't think she was accused herself. What is going on? Joy. Do some ghost thing and get me out of this. Come on. Trust me. You're better off this way. The killer was right. after you. Oh. What happened in there? He didn't suffer. You're lying. He died protecting innocent people. That's all you need to know. He died because of me. Hey. You know, pleading insanity isn't going to help you much on two counts of trespassing and felony escape. So you can drop the crazy act, all right? Rex, man, give her a break. You have anything to say for yourself? No? That's what I thought. We'll figure out what to do with you at the station. Why does this keep happening to Joy, me? Joy, tell him what we found. They need to know it all. You gotta find a way to convince him. Where are you going? The killer left a clue about the ancient mansion we saw at the museum. Tell Rex about that too. It's probably the killer's place. Okay, I'll try. I just realized we're gonna show up there and this whole game's like, oh yeah, Baxter did it. 
Baxter's gonna be straight up dead in that place. He's gonna be hung or cut up or something. That's why he's not here right now. It all makes perfect sense to me. Also, what makes perfect sense is this is probably a good time to figure out what I have collected and what I haven't collected in this damn town. I just don't even know where to look. Like, all right, if we start over here, the things I've gotten, I got that. I got this damn thing there where we look out at the ocean. I mean, the problem is I just don't, just don't know what I've missed. I assume the things I've missed are the writings, Abigail's writings on the wall. Which is ironic because writing was on the wall and that's how I figured out that she was the killer. Um, I, can I even get up there? I feel like this is just, look at that. I can't. Are you kidding me, game? Yeah, I feel like this is just a no-go. Like, that's just there to piss me off. All right, well, then we'll go back around here. I got everything that way. I've got all the murder mysteries. Hold on. Let me, like, let's let's look at this. 4-4, four, 9-9, four, nine nine, 16 16 I mean, I literally have everything there is to have right now. 7 7 18 18 7 7 10 10 Like, I'm just killing it. Okay, so then let's go to, what, 3? So, I'm missing Cheetah Death, but I assume I'll find that. 31 of 39, ooh. 32 of 38. 5 of 6. 15 of 23, Ghost stories. So there's probably one more in, I assume, this last place we're going to. Because this is definitely wrapping up. And I'm at 144 of 173 overall. I mean, I guess we could give it a look, but I don't know where to look, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know where to search. We got that place. I guess as we go to Judgment House, we'll just kind of look around, maybe? So this way is that which I've gotten yes some questions cannot be avoided never mind oh and that's the crushing like poor Iris oh my god all right well I got that and that explains all these damn things in the ground I thought they were leading that way ah uh, I am what one might call a dum dum okay so I've done all the stuff there is to do back here. Good news. I mean, I just don't know where to look. We'll just go to Judgment House and see what's on the way. I feel like this is the one place that I couldn't get into earlier. That he's like, I better not go this way. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so there's Judgment House. Was there anything back here? What? Oh, the things that bloom in this town. What does that mean? Abigail, what does that even mean? Okay, well then, I clearly haven't spent a lot of time over here. Have I? No, I got that. I remember getting that. What am I missing? Ooh. Oh, I bet if there was a cat here, that cat could get up there. I don't know why. I don't know why he would want to. Hmm. What am I missing? You know what? We're at Judgment House. I'm not too concerned about the rest of it. There's no way I'll be able to find it unless I had like a guide. So let's just go. Let's just go and do this thing. I always heard this place was such an interesting museum back in its heyday. Now it's just a place propped up by rusty nails and rumors. A place you wouldn't dare your worst enemy to go into. And none of the cops thought to look here? Alright, there it is, Judgment House. Huh. This abandoned place isn't so abandoned after all. I hate it when I'm right. Telling you he's super dead inside. 
I know how murder mysteries work. So probably demons. F? Interesting. Okay. Um, so this way is probably blocked off to me. Yes? Probably. Okay. So then I have to make magic <laughs> magic ghost stairs. Can I go this way? No. Can I get back here? No. Anywhere over here I can go. All right. So it's forcing me up this way. Gotcha. Ghost stairs! What? What? I said, good, good, ghost stairs! Go, there we go. Alright, so this is. What is this? Ashes to ashes. Ooh, I bet this is Abigail's story, right? It has to be. Go, demons? So that, what is this? What the hell does that say? She who does the devil's dance shall drop and crack and sway and jig upon the rope perchance the devil's dues to pay. Well, that is definitely what it says. Anything over here? Oh, just the way down. All right. Uh, perhaps we can go in here. Whoop. Ah, uh, yes. I asked Ronan today if he believed we'd go on after we die. He wondered if I meant like heaven or like ghosts. I told him I meant ghosts, and he just laughed and didn't say anything. I'm going to take that as a no. Everything she writes is ironic. The girl does not live in a world where irony doesn't exist. Okay, back through. What's this way? There is stuff. Oh my goodness, this place is terrifying. The little girl's dancing? A natural bridge of ghost and flesh. You harvest souls as though a friend. You cut with scythe with pitchfork thresh until you meet your righteous end. else over here All right, I guess we'll just follow it to the end and see what happens well we found a library are there answers in the library there are books everywhere what well, is your problem you got your doobies out of your decimals okay someone is hanging people in here or was hung in here Ah, uh, we got another. Let man beware who keeps so foul a witch from a harm beneath his wing. She casts her spell upon his soul and wreaks damnation's reckoning. Right, so that's poem three. At least we at least we know. Uh, before we go in there, anything in here? This is the other side of that room. Uh oh, is there something here? On the wall, maybe? Nope. That was just me passing through stuff. All right, so yeah. Nine more to go. Crib? Weird, bloody bones and shit. Okay, uh, so that's the place I was before. So let's go through here. Whoop! I guess down to the end of the hall. I'll keep a lookout just in case. Well, this is the room with the light. One light. To rid the land of nature's guilt. Through exercise of power, 
requires more vigilance than thou wilt. Tis always judgment hour. All right, well, those are getting super creepy. Ooh, we got a secret room. Okay. Huh! Holy shit. Look at all this crap. This is... Oh, fresh paint. This one's just been done. The witch who flew from her own mother, herself a witch, herself in flight, shall meet her death like so many other and leave both realms this very night. Oh no, that's about joy. This looks like the Bell Killer's war room. I should check this all out. Yes. No, we definitely should. Okay, so we have an investigation. Uh, what is this? The devil made me do it. Mayor Studer deflects blame after being charged with a series of torturous murders. What? There were torturous killings in Salem over a hundred years ago. Oh, it's totally Abby. She's possessing people. And she's been doing it for hundreds and hundreds of years. She did it that night of the train. She's she's just, she's crazy. She's a crazy little demon ghost girl. Third hanging victim discovered. Bizarre hangings in three recent murders harken back to Salem's shameful past. 1940. Yep. Actually, can we go down to Joy's verse? The killer's, okay. Whoa. Salem has a history of killers, apparently referencing the witch trial similar to the Bell Killer. Yep, because it's all her. The hell? Personal items. A collection of what seem to be personal items taken from the Bell Killer's victims, maybe? Uh-oh. These are the methods the killer used to murder the victims and how each one of them died can't tell if he's consistent or schizophrenic. Five or six, do you think? Oh, never mind, it's this. The map shows the locations of all of his murders, but in far more detail than the police know. Why would they never have checked this place? The one ultra creepy location? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Similar murders. Multiple killers, decades apart. Is this a string of copycats? A conspiracy? No way. Similar murders? No what way. What did you hide in this house, you freak? This is all Abby. I'm calling it right now. Oh, what was shit. that? Oh no, someone is definitely still here. Also, was that a thing on the ground? And demons? God, shit. All right, well. Ooh. Oh, it's the last one of these. The vibrations I'm getting from this house are off the charts. It's like the museum. The old violence tries to take over the new. I have to tell Officer Baxter about this. This could be a vital piece. So Baxter did know. Baxter did come here. Baxter's super dead in this house somewhere. All right, so the police did know. And the officer who knew was Baxter. Well, it makes sense. My theory is starting to come true here. Okay, before I go that way, was there anything else back over here? Anything at all? Anything this way? Uh oh, whoa, what? Oh, oh I guess there was, oh my God, there was. Great, eight more, all right. Well, no, now they got me looking for those. Can I remove any of these? Oh, Lord, now they got me looking for stuff to remove. That didn't even cross my mind when I was running through here earlier. Like, whoop, anything over here? That was stuff that I found. All right. Guess I've been everywhere. Awesome. And now these guys. Yeah, I'm aware, demons. I'm aware, you sons of bitches. Okay, so can I go through here? Oh, 
my god. Let's hide there and see what happens. So I imagine one's going to try and go for that crow if he starts calling. And then the other one, I just need to wait until he's like out of range. What the hell? This is so insane. How do I even? I can't see past that. So I just need to <laughs> what? All right. This is probably the wrong effing way. We're going to run this way. Hope he doesn't notice me. We're going to go for that guy right there. Because that's further away. Although, this seems very dangerous. I can't. I can't do that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my great googly moogly. So I have to go this way? Damn you, game. Damn you, game. You are driving me up a wall. A wall to crazy town. <laughs> How do you do this? Alright, I need to get that crow, but I just need to figure out where he's at. So I need to... Go there now? Alright, and then wait till that guy comes through and then grab him. I imagine the other guy's gonna see me, which is I'll just have to run. Here we go. What is it gonna be? Okay, we're good. I think. I'm just gonna go back here and hide. Woo! So there's that clown over there. I assume I can hide this way. Oh, shut up. Shut your mouth, game. Shut your mouth hole, game. Oh, this is the worst. All right. So I need to wait till he turns around. There's something at the end of the hall, too. Come on. Come on, you demon son of a bitch. Where are you going? He's coming this way? And he's still coming this way? I'm like part of a wall, though. That's not a big issue. Alright. You should definitely be attracted to that thing, though, right? Because that's... Instead of coming this way... Yeah. Yeah, dum-dum. Yeah, dum-dum-dummy. <laughs> Goodbye. I have exercised the demons. <laughs> what did that guy say? I was the last one. Hopefully. Hopefully that's what he said. Great. Okay, now to explore. Well, first we'll get this. It's like I don't even know him. And it felt so close. But to a man of my imagination, I would think that something like a criminal record would come up earlier in a relationship. It's not even his past that is keeping me away now. It's that he didn't tell me right away. He said his tattoos made it obvious. But I don't know. Not obvious enough, I guess. It might be too late for us. Oh, she was having those second thoughts. But we know how it worked out. Okay, back to the beginning. So this is where I came through. And I couldn't go this way. Because the game wanted me to suffer. And over here is a bunch of stuff, maybe. And this room is, is a bed. An old-timey bed. And this is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's seven more. Ooh. Okay, so this is where I started from again. This is this room. This is my bed. This was this thing that I came through. Alright, there's the crow. And crow! 
Anything written on the wall and spooky juice. Any spooky juice on the wall? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we got this room. Oh! Uh... Great. Well, I don't see anything on the ground. I don't see any runes, so I'm assuming that's a no. Anything in the bathroom? We good in the bathroom? Anything over here? Anything there? There's the distract. All right. I guess this is the only way to go, huh? Yeah. Uh-oh. How is all this stuff just still here? It's like kitchen nightmares. Is the killer trying to lure Gordon Ramsay? I mean, I have to know what this plaque says because none of this makes sense. The small kitchen area inside the house was used by servants for tea preparation, but not for major meals. Oh, so it's more like tea cozy nightmares than kitchen nightmares. Those were prepared by slaves in a detached kitchen because of the danger of kitchen fires in colonial times. The danger of fire was very real and common. The house probably had half a dozen different kitchens in its time, and there is none left standing on the grounds today. So yeah, back to this whole Abigail thing, convinced she is behind it all. More importantly, how she does it, she just controls people like I do, but she makes them kill. So if, actually, if Baxter is responsible for the murders, it's because he's being controlled. Okie dokie. Anything over here? Anything here? Alright. So I got that way and I got that way. And there's a lot that way. So let's look over here. Hello? Whoop! Ah, there we go. Sometimes that man can be an insensitive beast. I know he's got pressures at work, but home is the place where you let go of all those things. It'll be better tomorrow, I know, but... For now, I'm done thinking about it. I find it very weird that at this stage in the game, they're trying to throw us off about Ronin's relationship. Like somehow it wasn't good. Clearly it was. From the first five minutes of the game, you know they loved each other. So why would they, why would they do that here? Oh, they loom. Don't prick your finger. You're done. Oh, fuck! Four of them! You sons of bitches. You sons of bitches. All right. That's fine. We'll deal with four of them. The question is how? Oh, is this the courtroom? Remember they said that they held court in the house? Looks like pews. Can't go outside. So, I need to take out this guy first. How the F do you even do this? I have to like port behind him and get him. How do you do that though? I guess I could do it now. Yep, this is an awful lot. Oh, 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 what am I doing? What? what? Thought I distracted. Okay, let's try that again. Or don't. <laughs> or, or don't, or get chickened out. Alright, alright. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, go to it. Go to it, you big dumb dummy. Someone go to it. <laughs> Look, I will if you won't.
There we go. So he's going to stay over there. So what's that guy going to do? What's that guy going to do? Look right at it? Turn around. Turn around and walk away. There we go. Oh, fuck it. Really, he's still gonna just sit over there? So I got. That's fine. You know what, man? That's fine. Asadu! Gabadigu! Alright, so. <laughs> everything's working out fine. That was just, it was just a minor setback. Alright, alright. I need you to turn the balls around and go that way. And then this room will be clear and everything will be fine. Come on, you idiot. There we go. There we go. And get wrecked! Let's do this thing. Hey! Also, that one demon lied. Who knew? Demons lying assholes. Maybe he wasn't saying, I am the last one, but instead was saying, like, good thing I'm not the last one! So there's two over there and another crow, but good news is there's this. Oh my god. Observe. Trials were held in this room. Yeah, that's what I figured. Ah, February 4th, 1693. The witches are all released and Governor Phipps will not permit further prosecution. Yet it is this girl I fear most. I did threaten her with pressing and with glee she did tell me of the tortures of her own father who pressed and ducked her unto drowning. Would she not accuse his enemies? So I am not the first man to use this creature. And she is not afeard of my rebukes. Those who see the spirits of unnatural worlds are as conjurers to her. And she will not be dissuaded in her pursuit of them. She must be destroyed by any available measure of the law. Well, that would be our dear friend Abby. The parlor of the judge's house, what we would call the living room was one of the more spacious indoor areas available for holding trials. The witch trials were sometimes held here, and sometimes in another public building, such as a tavern. Now all the witch things make sense. Just stick her in the water. If she floats, whatever. I can't necessarily avoid them right now, but this is where I can hide. Where's he at? He's on the other side of that wall? Can I take his ass out right now? Ay, ay, ay. Unless he comes this way. Alright, no, he's not. Oh my goodness, this is so dangerous and scary. Oh, I can, I can avoid them entirely! Hell no! As long as Ronan's on the case, not a one walks away. Okay, well, that guy might be a problem. Ay, 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 ay. Actually, I probably can go right up to him. Oh, God, no, that guy's looking the other way. What the hell? All right. Now they're going to walk together. Awesome. Cool. Good work, team. I'm not sure this was the best place to be. Ay, ay, ay. So. Alright, so they're both coming this way. That's pretty awful. Remember when I said I want to kill these guys and I wasn't just going to leave? Alright, for real though, stop this whole, like, buddy system. It's not. You're not in first grade. You don't have to watch each other pee. Oh my god. So silly. So silly. How do I even get to that? Alright, let's try and go around. Or, or that guy's gonna come this way. Oh my god. Oh, hey. Well, that was convenient. I mean, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> this is the worst. 
Okay, I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm just sort of walking around in the dark trying to like... Alright, here's that room. Now they're separated. That's good. Nope, now they're moving apart again. Alright. Alright, well at least their timing is different now. We'll get this. We'll get this. So help me, gooseberries. Now they're like sentries for each other. Are you kidding me? Look at this! You demonic douchebags. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get R'd or A'd or W'd or I'm gonna say F'd. Because you're getting F'd right now. Alright, so he's gone. Oh my shit. Come on, for real? How the butts and ass do you do this? I mean, you have to call one over there. All right, so I need to get back across here. Ooh, hello. What stopped me from saying yes to Ronan? Maybe it's marriage in general. I've always thought I'd just be an independent woman in this world. I may not have processed this possibility enough, but I can't let him go. Can't. So back through. And we'll go this way. And then we will try and go around. I guess that's what we have to do. So. This time we go through here. We are. And we run back this way. This was so much simpler than me trying to be a badass and do whatever that was. Okay, well, I failed. I failed miserably. That sucked. That really sucked. I'm not sure why that didn't work. Well, at least these guys give up super easy. All right, and he's going to just sit there on that thing. Good. Let's finish him now. Oh, fucking fuck. Are you kidding me? Well, that time I almost died to it. <sighs> okay, so he's going to still be on that thing. His friend is just done with him. There we go. Get the F out of town, man. Okay, so this crow's there. That's there. That guy is just going to walk this way a little bit. And then he's going to get it. You are going to get it, mister. I'm so tired of you demons. I'm so tired of all of your shits. Let me tell you, demons. All right, all right, all right. Turn the other way. Go back the other way, you dick. You demonic asshole. And get wrecked with the power of the D! Finally! My god! Okay, well, that was the worst. What else is down here? Besides the exit. <laughs> Damn it. Knew it. Oh my god, Baxter? I should have been the one that stopped you. Ronan? What the hell is going on? You sick bastard. Why'd you do it? Why'd you bring back the witch trials and kill all those innocent girls? You think I'm the bell killer? Are you, are you insane? I've never killed anyone. You gotta help me. What is this place? We gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out of here. All of a sudden, we're buds. Uh, uh, uh. You need to tell me what's going on here. Dude, it's super obvious what's going on here. All right, who killed you? So, who killed you? The bell killer, you idiot. But I didn't get a good look at his face. Mostly because I'm missing my eyeball. Here. Yeah. 
So, stop being a dummy and figure this mystery out already, Ronin. What were you doing here? Following a lead. I never dropped the case. Had this psychic, Cassandra, working with me. And we figured out the bell killer is hunting mediums, like a witch trial execution copycat. At that point, we couldn't let it go, even after Rex demoted me. So that's why you're at the museum. Ooh, where's Cassandra? That's a good question. Do you know where Cassandra is? Is she still alive? Last I checked, yeah. I took her to a safe house outside of town. Oh my god, she's alive. I was sure she'd be dead too. Joy would be freaking ecstatic. She shouldn't end up alone. Awesome. Do you know Joy? I feel like this is the most important, but we'll ask that last. Cassandra ever bring up her daughter? Wouldn't shut up about her. We looked for Joy for days, but it was too risky. Cassandra has been begging me to track Joy down, but I haven't found her yet. You're not gonna believe this. Joy's been helping me tonight. <laughs> Figures a cop like you would need help to get this far. Damn, you mean, Baxter. Like, what, the help you got from her mom? Alright, so where's this killer? Where's the killer? No idea. He could be anywhere, but when we fought, he said something I didn't understand at all. Wait, 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 wait. The killer actually talked? Not much, but I think I hit a nerve. I told that bastard he'd be dead soon, but he said, I already know death. And then something about his instrument of death will kill again tonight. My instrument of death? But he kills different ways every time. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. We gotta figure out what that means. All right, you get back to Cassandra. Make sure she's still safe and bring her back to the station. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna quickly check out the cellar and come up with a plan. I hope. All right. The killer's planning another murder tonight with his instrument of death. Which is... which is what? Oh yeah, no. This is... Bad news all around. So the question now is what the hell are we going to find down here? Apparently nothing? Although I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. Well, there's 25 to 25. The cellar in the home of a judge was often temporary jail for prisoners awaiting trial. This custom was certainly in practice here where witch trial suspects were held awaiting the judgment of Judge Hathorne. Long-term holding facilities were unnecessary in these cases, as the penalty for witchcraft under English law was always death. Oh my god, are we going to find out where they held Abigail? You're damn right we are. Oh my god. We go. It's about time we got some answers. What was he doing? He's accusing, that's for sure. Oh, stern judging. You claim righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. The anger man points in the cell and claims to his accused that punishment is due. So who's in the cell? Abby. What was Abigail doing here? Imprisoned? Pleading. You stood for justice. How is this just? Abigail was held prisoner and thought this punishment was unjust. Is this something I can touch? What about, ooh? Extinguished light. I bet these did almost nothing to combat the darkness down here. What does that have to do with anything? Whoa, what? Who drew this? Abby? Because she is super the killer, but what does it mean? The bell killer symbol was once drawn in the cell, but by whom? That girl right there. Alright, 
out we go. And into here. What the shit? Was someone put in this cage? A prison inside a prison. Why would you need to cage someone who is already locked in a tiny cell? I look at the, oh, I can't. No rest for the wicked. That looks less comfortable than the beds I had in prison. Well, yeah, because it's several hundred years old. I don't know. Oh, come on. Let's go through. Wait, what? Okay, well, R. Two more. Uh, I clearly missed them somewhere. Can I not get that? What am I missing here? There's the barrel. These little jugs. I feel like those jugs would be something, right? Do you think this is Abigail's corpse? They killed her and then stuck her in here? Or did they barricade her up in here? I don't know. All right. So, we have... What down here? Abigail, the chains? Ah, there we go. Bound. Makes it feel more like a dungeon than a prison. What happened down here? Righteous man accused Abby. Uh, who was in prison shackles? Cage? Candles? Alright, well, it's clearly this. The angry man points at the cell and claims to be accused. Yeah, alright, so that's that. Sure. Okay. Then, Abigail, for sure. And I, I mean, my assumption is that it's going to be the symbol, but why? What does it mean? Yeah. You claim righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. I thought you stood for justice. How is this just? The courts are not a place for your murderous whimsy. You are a corrupt heathen. The families of those innocent souls you executed through oh, false shit. accusation of witchcraft will exact their righteous justice tonight. False accusation? What is that nonsense you draw? My mark will burn like a brand in the flesh of this town. It takes me to the ends of eternity. I will personally make the bell toll for every witch in Salem. Why? The guy who killed me is... Abigail. She might be the bell killer. How is that possible? I gotta get out of here and figure out how to track her down. So Abigail is basically still pissed all these years later about witches? And so she's just killing them from beyond the grave? Well, that's crazy. Also, now, right now, she is in Rex. And she has joy, and this shit is going down. How crazy is it? At the beginning of the game, a flippant line Rex said set all this in motion. I watch too much crime drama. Well, Joy, hang on, because I need to find two more of these damn things. Also, F. Where, where would I miss them? Dispatch. Has Rex checked in? I knew it. A suspect to the station. We can't get him on the radio. He isn't picking up his phone either. Nope. He hasn't checked in. We'll notify you when he shows. Copy that. Oh, shit. If Rex is missing... It could be going down right now. Where'd you take Joy, you asshole? Where would Abigail take Joy? Um, Puritan era gallows? Is Abigail the bell killer? All right, yes, obviously that's one of the ones. Uh. No new leads, no. Judgment House, I'm there. Witnesses, no, no, no. Instrument of death, maybe? Yeah, because that's what she has planned tonight. Oh my god, here! The gallows! Yeah. Instrument of death, meaning her death, where she was killed. 
the gallows at the museum. Oh, shit. Hang on, kid. I'm on my way. All right. But by that, I mean I've got two more things to find. Oh, we found one. Oh, my goodness. That was a lot of exploration. I still need one more. Where the hell is it? Oh, my God. Apparently, check this out. The one place I didn't look here, right? I thought this was all blocked off. Nope. Right here. All right on the toilet seat. I'd like to point out that took forever. Most of it's going to be edited out, but my god, I explored every inch of this place. Guess who's not going out into Salem to explore all that? My goodness, stuff is hidden too well in this game. All right. Salem wasn't the most exciting place for a couple of rambunctious 13-year-olds. And playing with my friends after school it usually required a healthy dose of imagination to spice up the underwhelmingly bleak landscape. To us, Salem's history was just a bunch of creepy stories and tourist attractions. Witches didn't exist. We, we all knew that. That's why Robbie Barnes was the laughingstock of the entire school. And he, he actually believed that they were real. Looking back, I, I wish I hadn't teased him so much. Maybe then he'd still be alive. I've, I forget which one of my friends actually came up with a plan to prank Robbie, but didn't take him long to get us all on board. My job was to find an example of an old spell. I mean, it took me all of 15 minutes. And the library had practically every book ever written on the subject. The next step um, involved the, the judgment house. It sat up on the hill, abandoned. Everyone said it was haunted. What made it even creepier were the rumors that Judge Hawthorne burned the remains of accused witches in the house's various fireplaces. That's, that's where Robbie comes in. We dared him to sneak into the judgment house in the middle of the night and collect a handful of ashes from each of the fireplaces. Then he'd have to light some candles, sprinkle the ashes, and read the spell. We told him that if done correctly, the spell would supposedly blow out all the candles. If he agreed to do all this and the candles so much as, as flickered, we would promise to stop making fun of him. We could, we could see that he was scared, but... To his credit, he agreed to go through with it. What we didn't tell him was that we had set up a hidden camera to catch all the hilarity on tape. The next day, Robbie didn't come into school. We, we assumed he had chickened out and was too embarrassed to face the music. Then I heard that Robbie went missing. I felt the chill run down my spine as I retrieved the tape from our hidden camera. I pressed play and fast forward until I saw Robbie. He was doing just as we instructed him to. But then, a shadowy figure crossed in front of the camera. Robbie turned in horror just as the camera cut to static. When the image finally returned, Robbie was gone. And the only sign that anything had happened at all was the now smoldering fireplace over in the corner. Kid got taken by the Blair Witch. You shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done it. Well, I'm disappointed that it had nothing to do with Abigail. I thought that might be like Abigail's story, but I imagine we're gonna find that out here in a second. All right, now let's get the hell out of here. I have done too much of this, let me tell you. Judgment House, I had no desire to ever be in you again. All right, so I need to go this way, and then we'll just cut diagonally across this. Order in the court! All right, Joy, here I come. Hopefully, uh, nope, that's not where I want to go. I believe the exit is here, yeah. Here's hoping she's not dead already, because that took forever. Real quick, are there going to be demons in my way? I hope not. Let's get to that museum. You know, normally I'd question why these people were still out, because shit has gone down tonight. But, I mean, 
if the killer is a civil servant that people love, I guess I can pretend that they're like, oh, that's just Rex, our dear friend. But it's still crazy. I'm coming, Joy. I'm coming, kid. Yes, go. No one deserves to be murdered. And when the psycho trying to kill someone pretends there's some grand justice behind it, that just makes it all the more twisted. Okay, for real though, there was just a gala event going on here. What happened to everybody? Nope. Let's go, okay, we'll go here and we'll run around all this goop. What the hell? Joy! Go in help! Not another step. No, not you, Rex. This has nothing to do with her, Abigail. Oh, but it does. For 300 years, we have executed the witches who corrupt our fair city. Down there. Let's go. Those who try to mask their demonic contract and leverage powers they should never possess. Just like you have. Don't you dare compare me to her! <laughs> easy, easy. Put your hands up! Help! Don't do anything stupid. Hands up! Stop oh, don't shoot door. Rex! Hands up! Oh, shit. Do it now! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Abigail, stop! Whoa, whoa! Rex, you piece of shit. What are you doing? Not now. This was you. Didn't want you getting closer to the truth. Ronan, do something! I don't know what to do! Oh, I do know what to do. I'm on my way. What? Okay, how do I get to her? I know exactly what to do. How do I get to her? 19 seconds, shut up. Watch this. Watch this. Possess! And influence! And where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? Come on. Come on. Powerful scream! Get this son of a bitch! It's over, Abigail. What do I do? What do I do? She is fuming. Alright, possessing her doesn't stop her. Can I, like, grab her? Oh! The time is upon us, Abigail Williams. No. You scourge of Salem, it is time to pay for your sins! This can't be happening. You want to use memories against me? You can play up that game. I know the truth about your death, but I still don't know the truth about mine. Whoa, I can just ask her flat out, did you use Rex to kill me? Did you use Rex to kill me? Rex was my most influential. The most respected, the most feared official in town. Of course I did. What? Knew it from moment one. How can Rex be the killer? How could Rex have done it? 
Rose's killer had blue eyes. I didn't use the same killer for every murder. Wow. Baxter, Baxter was a killer, I guess. Holy shit. Question, has she ever used me to be a killer? Why did you kill Baxter? I eventually kill all the killers I use. Especially the ones who get close to the truth. Why did you kill me? Oh, shit! I wasn't close to the truth in the apartment. I wasn't one of your killers. Why did I have to die? No way. How could I? You made me kill her. If I'm going out, you're coming with me. We all got a dark side, sometimes obvious, sometimes not. If we're lucky, we keep our dark side hidden. By law, Rex was a killer. But the law doesn't always see the truth. Fortunately, Joy did. And she would never press charges. <laughs> She might even help Rex cover his tracks. One thing's for certain. She's a better person than I was at that age. A kid who deserves forgiveness. She's paid her dues. And committing a few small crimes searching for your mom, well, even the coldest cops would forgive those. Hasn't been a bell killer murder since the night Abigail met her final end. But the case never officially closed. But memories fade, time heals. With luck, Salem will move on and find peace. Death repays debts, my father always said. Forever I believe that. But truth be told, this life ain't over until you're honest about what you owe. Set everything right. Settle your debts. Only then can you move on. Ronnie? Oh, boo, Square Enix! Really? That's how you're going to end the game? Uh, Alright, that wasn't a terrific ending. But, uh, I mean, I thought it was a fun game. 
and uh, I, I wish that they had, I don't know. Ugh, what a disappointing ending. It was okay. It was, it, I enjoyed it. It was a solidly okay game, but that ending was super rushed. Um, I guess my thoughts are that I uh, watched far too many murder mysteries and called this from day one. The minute he was like, Ugh, I should have killed you. I was like, oh, he's the killer. But I did not see that you were also the killer, which is kind of cool. I like that aspect of it. Um, I guess that's it. I'm not really sure what else I can say about this game. I think I said it all. <laughs> I, I mean, fun, but the ending was kind of jank. So it looks like Ronan is going to go with his wife off to uh, heaven, I suppose. And I didn't collect everything, but... I collected enough to know the basic gist of the story. I don't give a damn about going back and getting all the collectibles. That last, that last damn house ruined me. There were so many little nooks and crannies and tiny rooms I didn't even consider. I don't even want to know what Salem's like. So that's it. Thank you for watching. We're done here, and uh, I will see you in the next playthrough. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. Hello, Arrows 4. Me, Jessica, the number one out of the plan. The bees, please, the tip top shape. I'm swell shape. And I'm gonna make a fortune for my ass for Shut the balls up. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future Everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up! UFO Commander, we are the future We're gonna take you to the future Then we're gonna get to the future Everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up! Give me that! No! 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 <laughs>